Hello and welcome back my companions. I hope you guys are ready to go on another adventure with me here today in Wilder Myth. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how many more episodes we will we'll have in this story of Wilder Myth. Mainly because uh, today we're going to explore these four tiles. I'm probably going to just condemn these two tiles most likely. It takes two there's only one path to get to them and they're really out of the way and I don't want to try and build another bridge uh, so we're just gonna deal with these four and this one's clearly gonna progress our storyline so once we progress the storyline I assume we're gonna pretty much go fight Ulstrix next so this might be the last episode or the next one might be the last episode so let's see, where am I having these guys go? They're just coming here to gather as a group. And then we're gonna split up. We're gonna send the more experienced guys up here. So scout this out with Taros, Athris, and Grigwist. Yes, these three can go there. And then we'll send the four grizzled Vets up here. Uh, the forest has been revealed. We'll assault it with just the four of them. The rain hasn't let up much through the winter. The earth is soggy and stinking like a corpse. Hills have sunk and dead mice float in flooded fields. People are moving towards the hill, the mountains. Going by arms map, we're nearly there. Are we good? Now's when we find out whether our gamble makes us fools. I've heard it said that to cut a noose, it's a dangerous friend. Try not to be the problem, Karis. This world is near its limits. Any chance may be the only chance. Alright, let's see what we have. Two, two, one, one, two. Oh no, there's three. Okay. Well, Elm, go ahead and what do we got here? We got bones, hollow tree, wood plank. So go ahead, confuse there bone that way so there's one down he left some poison behind Jill can come up here we're not going to trigger anybody at the moment so let's see leap Swap card. So here's another one coming up. Here are the raccoons. I don't think you're going to be able to get within range to hit the fur bulb. So we'll send Joe. Oh, nope, we can't send Joe up yet. Swap. Grant. Come on right there. Apply your poison. And shoot the fur bulk. Not the fur bulk, but the bog more. Uh, come on up here. Infuse with that. Bone lance. Could kill him. Or you could infuse with don't really want you infused with this, to be honest. Go ahead and just wait. We'll send... Karis... Here. Guardian and Jill. Might be able to... No, she won't be able to... Fire anyone. But she can at least hopefully... Yeah, leave some fire trails. That's all I wanted, really. Thank you. 
Karis, where is the guardian? Oh, Karis! Karis, no, where's your guardian? You're supposed to trigger there. All right, well, this is gonna be fun for him. Let's look to him real fast. You can hop here, then Elm can hop. It will send Jill here. Yep, you go ahead and strike. You're now untouchable. Elm can get here and hmm. Need to move Grant. So I need to move. Go shoot him. And now we'll move Elm up and have him attached to this, hopefully. Give him some extra damage. Oh, and he's stunned, so he gets a refund. And we can have him move over here. And go ahead and just wait there, Elm. Alright, now you can use Tinker, Karis, because all of your armor is gone. Come on up here. Zealously here. Fire. One dead, one is dodging shits. Apply some poison. That one. Draw from that one. Infuse into this one. And fire. Karis, swap, shred everything there. Now see if you can't. Yeah. With the lover's vengeance. Fucking poison all over the place. I think we won now. Yay, victory! A scrap of grace plus five dodge. We'll give it to. We should probably give it to one of the new people. So we'll give it to their, their son. This better be worth it. Stay sharp, Karis! Arnon emerges rather suddenly from a damp shadow standing before a root-framed tunnel. So you made it. You doubted we would? The old deepest leads them into the dark. The earth walls are slimy and black. Streams of earth slosh on either side of a hastily heaped gravel path. Clods bloop from the ceiling. Support beams have been clearly rushed into place. Don't take any off-war tunnel. They've been falling in. Deeper in, earth walls give way to granite. 
The morning rots. The flowing water follows curving channels away from the main tunnel to some dark end. When will you abandon this place? Hmm? Oh no, we can't. Do you want breakfast? It's mid-afternoon. Yeah, but we're not chained to the sun cycle. We have breakfast whenever. Harnan shows the way inside a marked passage. A weird smell beckons them through. Breakfast by chance? To the other side. Here they are, dear. The mole and the brute. And more to follow. Bray, well, you did offer them grub. Sure I did. No one wants lukewarm, chewy old grub, I keep saying. Smells like damp socks, or is that you? I just smell your neck grease. Damn, you two are vicious with each other. Yes, I'm Vilda. Why, adventurers, this is some drunk I know. It said I was born in the basin of dried caldra, the spirits of salt. No, all right, I'm I'm already done with your voice, Velda. I'm just gonna say you like normal. Does get said a lot, but you're not actually true. Right, technically it's false. You too. See, I can't even do her voice right. Like, I have her and Elle mixed together now. You two are married to each other? In times of strife, it's nice. We're mostly married. Did we just rake their yard for them, or can they actually help us? The brute speaks reason language. You came because you must defeat the Gorgons, is that right? You were told you knew how. I know what the Gorgons did. Their leader, I learned of him, Ostrix. Arnon tucks in a bowl of bing mush. Looks like shawarma gruel with some kind of green gold dressing. Ostrich. Oh fuck! Is he making fun of how I say it? We know the name well enough. I'm not. I'm not gonna get any of these voices right. Being the last episode, and that frustrates me. Sorry, guys. If you're here for the great voice acting, bad day to show up for it, I'd say. Yes, Ulstrix raised a great number of his brethren. And they went to the valley of the god beast Moatano. Moatan. And of that great god beast, they made pewter. They turned it to stone. Velda glazes at all attending from beneath the mass of horns adoring her face. A scowl twists her already crooked features. Arnon finishes his meal, pulls out his beard, and wipes off his cowl. Ooh! Maatona. Maatona is a keeper of balance. The unassailable balance of Maatoa keeps all opposing forces on this world in harmony. And because Maatoa is dead, the weather is thrown off. And the seas and the peaks. All will turn into a big blue gorgon soup. Us the carrots and the beans. And you the onions. So that's why Ultrix needed his army. To slay a god! Well, what was the point of that spear we bled over? Wasn't that supposed to be the symbol he needed to unite whatever gorgons behind his crusade? What matters is this. Moatona cannot die. She's petrified. The reason I called you here is that I have been hoarding a certain restorative, restorative spirit distilled from the roots of the extinct Bullflax flower. I call it... Root beer! Yep. Yep, I'm with everyone else here. A medicine? My root beer should be able to restore the great Maatoa if you can get it to her. My brewing goddess, Vilda. Well, assuming all that's true, why us? Don't you have your own lackeys? That deep down, some of it is, we're afraid. So our people are made frail. What is the worst doom? The Gorgon leader is strong and fearless, so too are his whores. We are too old, slow, 
I'm scared to die. Our Gorgons aren't going to let us do this thing, are they? And do we know where to go? And are we sure reviving this god beast will fix everything? The mole grows quick asky, but I'll answer all your questions. Over breakfast, I'm still hungry. It's salty warm. Velda is true to her word, and as Aran serves up bowls of grum, she draws a serviceable map, a serviceable map upon the wall in the pale chalk. The food is surprisingly good. Lastly, Velda hands over her healing ale, a single sealed earth warm bottle. Soon they're on their way again. They carry the hope of all the land and its creatures in one fragile bottle. All right, so now a Bogmore has extra health. That's lovely. Meat. Oh, now we must confront Ulstrix. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I was right. This is going to most likely be the last episode unless I want to split it up between two. I'm going to take this group with me. This is the group we're going to take. All our lives we've been preparing for this eventuality. We're Gorgon Slayers. History brought us here because our people's history must continue. Be sure of your gear. Whatever improvements or repairs you can, this is the last sleep. We'll be prepared. That's not your voice. Oh shit, we got a lot of stuff. Oh shit. Am I going to build a lot of shit real fast? Oh, damn. The Valley of the God Beast Moatona. We knew we were set up for an unwinnable fight. Even in the relentless rain, it was a beautiful place to die. Karis, you're a gambler. What's our odds of pulling this out? I don't know. I do wish we had more time. If this is a final day... But maybe it's our hunger for more of this life. Maybe that's what gets us through. High waters rise, good vessels. We're here because we've endured one more storm to weather. The name of our epoch will be written today, etched in his image or ours. A clear path climbs the hills ahead of them to whatever awaits. All right, so here we go. Approach Matoa. It was over here. And we have a couple of Zell's Leap. There, those are Grace. Go ahead and fuse with that. That should give him Spirit Blade. No? Okay, well, at least give him Rock Shield. I infuse with that one. Strike him. Let's go ahead and guardian. Jill can come right here. And come and fire his ass. Now Elm can infuse with this fire. And try and attack the bear, but of course he'll dodge it. There we go, poisoned and hobbled. down I repeat the bear is down All right, so Jill good okay, go right there Jill hey, get both of them for me Um, go ahead and 
fuse with that. And then fuse with that. And we'll try and see if you can't discus next turn off of that. Idea. Yep. So you're just gonna have to go into Guardian because they, they locked you down. That one. And then she can come on over here. And then infuse with. You're not really close enough to be able to do some of the things I want you to do. So. Confused with that one, and then just block shield her, yeah. Good rock shield. Just from this one just to kill that Rue and him. Yep. Shade, enter the grain plane whenever you infuse with the tree. Oh, cool. Uh, Jill will. Go ahead and just light up all three of these guys, I guess. And then stand in poison? Nope, okay. Um. Oh, well, tree car Karis. Tree call Karis. He sh should be able to splinter brass. Oh. Um, infuse with. Put him right here, I guess. Get you a little bit closer to do some things. I have to move right here. You can shoot at this guy. And Guardian Caddis. So as soon as one of them moves into your spots, we can just pew! All according to plan. All right, so now we have to approach this. So we need to probably do this very cautiously. Elm, what now is the time? Look at this thing. Were you really around all this time? Climbing up its slick neck. Elm seals Vilda's earthworn bottle. Ugh. Just going to pour it on the thing? Don't see a pour hole. He douses the petrified head of the god beast, Moatona, in the spicy, sweet smelling elixir. It's not working, is it? Oh well, we're out of time. Ultrix, he's here. It doesn't make me proud, but I only thought of surviving. Everything was ending, but I didn't want to go with it. Ultrix, he wasn't much different from me. That crossed my mind. When the first land was raised from the folds of the sea, two worlds were born out of one. To Ulstrix, a mighty and arrogant Gorgon hero, this was creation's mistake, and he dreamed he'd mend it. Very little has ever been known of things that scrum and scoil beneath the tides. 
We know the Gorgons are old. Old? Old. So maybe they aren't easily moved. My vanity hopes we threw him some surprises. But it's possible we were his full, his fools from the very beginning. We unpuzzled the stone and chased that spear of petroglass. We struck a blow, I think, in taking it. But our grubby plunder of a Gorgon heirloom gave him a story to tell. Our race cast as the scrappling villains. Incited his Gorgon brethren to gather rose behind him to entwerp this gentle god. And the ocean rose while the rain fell and the ice of the world turned to melt. For a while I'm sure he believed his dream would replace reality. The rain stops. But it won't. This mighty lord of Gorgon's scarred and strong hurls his underlings before him and raises himself high prepared to fight i have three things oh shit there's like more than three things now okay and why did everyone that's ah, annoying so jill is still in with that cataris make a zealous leap over here Jill, can you can you get close enough to your husband? You can get close enough to your husband to help him fight, but not actually do anything on your turn. Unless where's Elm? Elm, can you infuse with this? It's a sapling. It's not actually gonna teleport you. But that one might. Go ahead and teleport call her. Or vine. Yes, 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 yes. So Karis can come right here. Guardian. Jill can come right here. Elm can vine winch. The Gorgon. Right. Sends vines to grab out and drag them to a specific tile. You here then. Uh, unless you dodge. Good. Do that. Grant will just shoot this guy then. And she can come on up. Discus. This one, yes. One Gorgon down. We are going to have the issue, though, that Ultstrix is going to be coming around, and we're going to be low on Mystic Ammo. Alright. We're doing fairly well. Oh, man. Whoa, what the fuck? All right, they did say you hurled him. Way to go, Karis. Just knocking him out. Go ahead and hit. Yeah, go ahead and throw him there. Do it like that. Elma, what do you got? You got Tree Call, Splinter Blast, and you can infuse with some things. Jill. Hmm, you're not going to be able to kind of fire anything. The other issue is there's a lot of, a lot of fucking poison going around right here. Nothing to shoot, so lay an ambush right there for yourself. Elm can come down here and infuse with what is over here? A stone. Yeah, go ahead and infuse with that. You can try and discus off of stuff. Just wait. Karis. We'll just do some stuff like that. There's 
Next turn, all this blood should go away. Who did you just try to hurl? Oh, that. Okay. Are you running away? Are you being a punk ass bitch and running? Go sleep over here. Yeah, it's right here. Strike that one. Poison there, okay. And Jill can come up here. Still can't cone of fire you, but Grant can come over and ward her. And shoot at that one. She can come rock shield her for a turn. And then move right there. Um come over here. You're gonna withdraw from that one back there just because nobody is really close enough for you to do anything. Come over here, I guess. He's gonna just keep chucking stuff at us. Oh god, who took the damage? Oh, the Rager did, okay. So... Gray, go ahead and fling... I don't want you to fling a boulder from that one. Infuse with that stone back there. You go from there. Okay, that should kill it. Or not. Okay, well then. So now you got some temporary HP. There, Guardian. Jill can come up with her husband. Cone of Fire. Ulstrix. Elm can shoot. The Rager. Oh, Jill needs to move. Oh, God. Stop chucking them that way. God damn, man. There we go. Alright, so... Greg, go ahead and... I really don't want you to waste this one because it only has so many more things to do. Elm can come on up here, infuse with this fire. Burning arrows. When infused with a blaze, grant a free range attack to a nearby ally. The attack will pierce Elm's. Oh. Oh. That was cool. Go ahead and move here, I guess. And Strike that one. And Jill is going to move here. And just wait. And just take a shot at him. Let's see. Hobbled, blocked, a lot of damage. He's going to keep chucking stuff at us.
And she's just going to keep killing it with her. Ooh, never mind. I guess I'm going to have to strike this one. Elm can come right. Or fire lash that guy. There we go. So they'll sleep here. Jill can come right here and get some lover's vengeance bonuses. Um, maybe. We're gonna need to shield shred. And then we're gonna. See what else we can do here. Go ahead, kill that one. No, don't do that yet. We're gonna have Caterus. Swap weapons, come here. See if we can't. Yeah, there we go. We shredded some of his armor. Now shoot him. There we go. Discus from this one? No. Elm. Fire Lash. Into this one. Yes, Elm. Yes. Victory! Elm's face. Elm has grown stronger. So, I can... Well, I mean... At this point, I don't think it really matters what I give him. Unless I'm going to promote him to be a legacy hero for a future campaign. Which, you know what? I might let you guys... Um, vote on. Ah, I'm going to scratch that. All right, so we can either choose Earth Scribe, Heroism once per combat. He gains one action point in the attack action. Costs only one point this turn. Or he can ignite some stuff. Let's make him Earth Scribe. Uh, Grant counters all ranged attacks against him or adjacent allies. Uh, fires a cleverly placed arrow that will pass through the first target and hit the second target in the line with an attack range. Nope. Archery and then... Catarus engage as a swift action. That's what we're going to do. Because you're not a bowmaster and two other people have wisdom. The mighty Ulstrix finally crumbled before us. His reeking corpse twitched still. It was over. Some would say we saved the world. And we did save the ember of it. We cupped this red coal of life, held it away from the water, carried it into the next morning. Through wreckage loss, destruction, it would take time for the water to go down, the memories to lose their bite, to rebuild, to heal, and maybe to live new lives someday. But our story was just one of many. Snoof! in so we won the final population was 565 there were three towns we had 21 safe tiles at the end of the game we had a total of 130 years worth of peace these heroes will be added to my legacy well i'm not gonna add tyrus or arthris or even Greg Riss, really. I'm going to keep these three right here. These four. My bad. Will he be... Choose one hero to promote to be a legacy hero. The selected hero will move to the next legacy tier. And their new items, history, and abilities will go with them. The higher a hero's legacy tier, the more abilities that hero will come into a game with. So do I want him to be a folk hero or a local legend? 
I would like to have Jill become a local legend because she is on fire. Literally on fire. So promote Jill. The elemental weapons you discover this game have been unlocked in your legacy and will now be available in craft in all future games. That's awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed that first saga of Wilder Myth. I know I did being able to share it with you. I do plan on continuing with the next two sagas as well and maybe work on something in the background for Thrixels and Dwarven the little dragon guys because only the bone machine guys i don't remember their names i think they're morgathy are the next ones we'll deal with with the enduring war and then the deepest for the monarch under the mountain i think is what that one's called if you'd like to be a part of our company and be a regular companion make sure to subscribe so that way you can also enjoy in on the next two sagas of wilder myth with us until next take time my companions think just flexibility love and trust Take a moment to think it just Flexibility, love and trust Here comes a thought